Such a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Look at this freaking weather. But listen, how to get started in affiliate marketing? That's the big question. Well, stick to the very end of this video and I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly how to get started. So the question is, how do you get started in affiliate marketing? Where to actually begin? Now, that's a great question. After my video a couple of days ago, a lot of people have been asking me, okay, how do I actually get started? What offers should I be promoting? What do I actually need? You said something about systems, a completely automated money while you sleep. I'm basically gonna go ahead and break that down um, within this specific video. So the question is getting started, right? So getting, and I know I don't have the best of handwriting, but they say people with shitty handwriting are very intelligent, right? So the first question is getting started. We're gonna need a couple of things first and foremost, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and list on this side um, in order what I believe you need to get started, right? Um, first, just so we're color coordinated, um, I'm gonna say you need to start with your niche, right? And just to be like, to explain what a niche is really quick is, I'm gonna go ahead and say category, right? You need to find the category of products that you wanna go ahead and promote. Do you wanna go ahead and promote make money online products? Do you wanna go ahead and promote weight loss products? Do you wanna uh, promote romance products? Those are basically the, the, the big three niches and the reason why is because there's a tons of problems in those niches. Those problems aren't going anywhere. People are always gonna to wanna to still be beautiful. People are always gonna to wanna to be able to make more money and people are always gonna to wanna to, um, make their physical appearance look better, right? Health, wealth, romance. Those are the big three niches, right? So we need to find a niche. Once we find a niche, then the next step is number two is an offer, right? So if you guys stick to the very end of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and um, give you guys access to an offer and I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys access to a niche that I would recommend because I have a lot of experience in it, but stick to the very end of this video, right? So an offer, you're gonna go ahead and need something to be able to promote, right? And with that being said, okay, um, we need to find an offer within the niche, right? But the offers should have a couple of things, right? Number one is it should be ethical, right? Now I know this sounds crazy, but it's true, right? You're gonna need to find something that um, is basically something that you like you promote to your friends or your family. I'm not telling you to promote to your friends or your family, but something that you wouldn't mind selling to them. That's how ethical it should be, right? Also, yes, it's ethical, but it should also have the right margins, right? Now, let me give you guys uh, a bad example, right? Amazon Associates, Amazon Associates, so I'm just gonna say affiliate. Their affiliate program, if you were to look, it literally pays about 8% commissions. Now, the problem with that is if I ever wanna go ahead and do something like paid advertisement, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna have the enough margins to be able to make money, right? So the only way you're gonna see a lot of people reviewing products and things along those lines on YouTube and their Amazon associates, they're usually free traffic. At the end of the day, if you wanna be, and I might be skipping ahead of the game by even talking about traffic, but basically you want something to where you can make money so that way you can actually reinvest your money back into advertising. We'll cover that in a second. And when you reinvest your, your money back in advertisement, you're gonna be able to have the actual margins to be able to, uh, to make money, right? So what are the proper margins? I would say a minimum of 50% commission. So what that means is if I have a $100 product, right, minimum payout should be $50, minimum. If it doesn't have uh, 50, excuse me, if it doesn't have minimum of 50% commission payout, you shouldn't be promoting it as an affiliate. And last but not least, I would say solve a problem. And also, I'm gonna say persuasive. And what I mean by persuasive is usually, and we're gonna, we're gonna talk about that next, right? But basically, is once you guys start promoting these offers, you're gonna have a, a sales funnel. So a sales 
funnel. Now, just to explain what a sales funnel is, right? The program is gonna go ahead and provide. They're gonna go ahead and provide this part of the funnel and I'm gonna explain what a sales funnel is in a second. And it'll make sense to you guys, right? So just bear with me while I draw this out really quick. This is usually what the affiliate program is gonna go ahead and provide. They're gonna go ahead and provide a sales page, right? Basically what this little box here is a sales video, right? It's a sales presentation and this is your, I'm gonna say at the top here, your link. This is your affiliate link. So what happens is these affiliate programs will give you an affiliate link that is for you and you only and literally these links are the same exact sales page. So there's multiple people who get access to this sales page, but how do they track who gets to sell, right? By it being a part of your link. So this link is going to be a web page, and this web page is going to be a um, is going to be a sales presentation. And then at at with the sales presentation at the bottom, there's going to be a little button that after right persuasive. If it's persuasive and somebody watches it, and it basically they believe that that product can solve their problem. What they're gonna do is they're gonna go ahead and click the button and then they're gonna go ahead and buy. And then again, this one is also tied to your affiliate link. So every time somebody makes a purchase and out the end of this, right, a sale or transaction is made, let's just say for example, it's a thousand dollar sale, right? And they're paying out a 50% commission this affiliate program is literally going to go ahead and pay you $500, right? They're going to go ahead and pay you a, a, um, a 50% commission minimum, right? So um, basically with that being said, um, what is this little thing in the front? This little thing in the front is called a capture page, right? So a capture page is simply something that you capture emails. That's the easiest way to put it. But basically what a sales funnel is in comparison to a traditional website is a sales funnel is a series of steps and basically, right, here's a website. I'm just going to go ahead and give you guys a quick demonstration of a website. There's the about, there's the, uh, there's the more information, there's blogs, there's all these options on this website and basically there's like 36 options on one, on one, on one page, right? So the problem with is that a lot of people don't know right what option they want to do right do i want to go to click the about us do i want to go to learn more do i want to go to blah 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 with the sales funnel it's a direct approach right so when we're sending people to these web pages instead of them having 36 different options they only have two options option number one is put in my email you probably can't read that green is a terrible color so we're just going to go ahead and do black so they're either going to go ahead and put an email or Number two, they're gonna go to leave. So with that being said, you're gonna go ahead and need to set up these web pages so that way you can capture these emails. And I'll explain after why it's important to actually capture these emails, but basically put in the email, right? Once these people put in the email, they're gonna go ahead and get access to this page right here, which is the sales presentation, the affiliate link that the uh, affiliate program gave you access to. And then what happens is if they decide to go to the next step, they're gonna go ahead and uh, make a purchase, you get paid a commission. So by the way, how to get started, right? what is one of the things that we need? We're gonna go ahead and need a sales funnel software. And I'm gonna go ahead and actually give you guys my recommended sales funnel software if you guys stick to the very end of this video. I'm gonna show you how you guys can get access to all that stuff. Now, number, number three, or excuse me, number four is an auto responder now what that is guys is basically let's go back to these three pages really quick three pages so here's the sales page I know that looks way uglier and then here's where I capture the emails right so and then this is where they purchase now what happens is um, actually now I'll start uh, I'll start explaining now we're gonna talk about last thing we're gonna talk about is actually getting people to this process but an autoresponder is literally a software that as soon as this person uh, goes to this page and they decide to go to step two 
right? It captures their email and what it allows us to do is basically eight out of 10 people are not going to go ahead and buy the first go around. So because they're not going to go ahead and buy the first go around, that literally means that we need to go ahead and capture their information so that way we can follow up. Now what that means is that literally, let's just say they're walking their dog and they just so happen to come across this page but they didn't have time to actually look at your sales presentation or let's just say they were on the go or they were on their lunch break at their job and let's just say their lunch break they had three minutes left so they couldn't watch your 15 minute video, right? What's gonna happen is they're gonna forget, right? People have a seven second attention span. So when people forget about things, they're not gonna go out and buy. So what happens to all these people who didn't buy the first time? We capture their emails and we're gonna be able to do something called um, email marketing. So an autoresponder, you'll literally be able to set up a follow-up series. I'll give you guys an example, right? So one, two, three, four, five. So day one, day two, day three, so an example is day one will go ahead and so as soon as they go ahead and put their email into that first page, right? Day one, we're gonna go ahead and send them an email back to that page, uh, to our sales page. Day two, we may send them some value to get them to know, like, and trust us just in case they don't trust us. And then day three, we might send them back to the sales page. And let's just say on day seven, seven, they decide to actually purchase and become a customer and let's just say our affiliate offer is paying out $300, $300 sales. So you get paid $150 commission. Now that's basically $150 that's in your pocket on day seven. And that never would have been in your pocket if you didn't capture those emails and start building that audience um, to be able to follow up with them, right? Now, last but not least, and I know I'm kind of blowing through this, but last but not least, um, I'm gonna have I'm gonna give you guys an opportunity to, to be able to get a little bit more in-depth training last but not least Autoresponder number five Last but not least is you're gonna need traffic So traffic is basically website traffic traffic is visitors to these actual web pages, right? You're gonna need people to, to, to send them through your funnel Right, to send these visitors through your funnel, you're gonna need people to land on this initial page. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna send website traffic. So an example of traffic is, for example, paid advertisement, let's just say Facebook ads, Google ads, Bing ads, so on and so forth. That's an example of paid advertisement. But an example of free advertisement would be like YouTube videos and blog videos. All you're gonna be doing is creating content value-based content and then with that content at the end of your videos you'll just go to make a recommendation and you'll be sending all those those people to your actual web pages now um, the way you're gonna go ahead and actually get these people to find you is you're gonna create content around the the problems that people are trying to solve so if somebody's trying to learn how to make money online I may make a video saying how to make money online in 2019 when somebody searches and they find my video I'm gonna teach them something like I'm teaching you something now and at the end of the video once a recommendation is made they'll go ahead and they'll land on my my web pages my, my sales funnel they'll go through my sales funnel if they don't buy the first time that's what the autoresponder comes in so on and so forth so with that being said guys basically we're gonna go ahead and need we're gonna need a niche we're gonna need an offer. We're gonna need a sales funnel. We're gonna need an autoresponder. We're gonna need traffic. Now, my question to you is what if I can actually do all this for you? Done for you. Meaning, what if I could go ahead and give you the niche, right? What if I could give you the offer? What if I could give you the sales funnels? What if I could give you the autoresponder and the actual emails to send these people? And I could give you the actual traffic sources that work the best, right? What I wanna do for you is I wanna go ahead and actually give you guys access to something that I've been working on. And if you click the first thing in the description, if you're watching this on my email list, there's gonna be a button down below. I'm gonna give you access to something that I've been working on. It's a new project. It's gonna be life changing for you. Basically, a lot of people have re been requesting this. Um, so I decided to go ahead and give people what they've been requesting. So click the link down below. Once you click the link or the button down below, I am literally gonna go ahead and show you how I can do 90% of this done for you, right? So that way you can start making an income 
And with that extra income, you can start making some passive income. You can start doing what you want with that or the smart thing to do, which I'll teach you guys how to just reinvest that income back into your business to start growing your business and eventually walk away from that nine to five and leave corporate slavery. So click down below, take action. and I can't wait to see you on the other side. As always, Eric Ellis checking out. Oh.